Welcome to their interview presented by Alabama Wrestling Forums. I'm Jackson Bass, here with current Division I wrestler at Appalachian State University and two-time Alabama State champ, Barrett Blakely. How are you doing today, Barrett? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Let me start out by asking, what got you into wrestling? So, uh, my brother, he started wrestling about the time he got into middle school. And, uh, you know, he started going to AWC. And eventually, it was just kind of like, you know, it was expected I was going to wrestle. So um, pretty much just started off at AWC pretty much. So it's pretty awesome. So you mentioned your brother and I know that I, I've kind of grown up watching you guys train together. And I would say that you guys probably have the strongest bond that I've seen two brothers helping each other out constantly, which I think is great. How has John contributed to your wrestling? Oh, so much, man. I, I really don't think I would be where I am today if it wasn't for him. You know, he really, like, made me a lot tougher than I was when I didn't have him as my coach. And, uh, you know, he helped me out a lot getting ready to wrestle here. You know, he wrestled at Appalachia State, too. And I kind of learned a lot of the philosophies here that he he was taught. So, you know, I was kind of a step ahead when I got here, luckily, because of him. So I, he's just been a tremendous impact on my career and such a great mentor for me. So you mentioned you wrestled at Alabama Wrestling Club, and that was coached by uh, Rod Gaddy. How did Rod kind of help your foundation when you first started in the sport? Uh, well, I think Rod just kind of, you know, he really helped me learn kind of the fundamentals to it, you know, just your basic sweep single and all that kind of stuff. and. Uh, you know, he was just, he was a really good coach for me uh, during my time with him. And he kind of just helped lay the fundamentals down for me. So. Rod's done those Fargo camps, which are known very well in the state. They're one of the hardest kinds of camps to go to. How did those camps kind of build your, that's more of a, a mental thing, honestly. Those are three days. And obviously you're going to become a better wrestler through it all. But how did those camps kind of help your wrestling kind of spike like grow really quickly well I think part of it was really that it just helped build mental toughness you know like I think I'm, I'm a big believer in that you know the mental aspect of wrestling is the majority of it and um you know it's it's good to know that like when you get to Fargo you've been training 30 days three practices a day hard hard workouts and you, know, you get up there and by the time you know you've you've done all the work and then it's just time to perform. So really, I think that just helped like instill mental toughness. So you wrestled Oak Mountain under Coach Burrow and Coach Burrow during your tenure along with Hids had many teams that were just collectively had studs like Michael John Harris, Blake Randall, Bronson Johnson, just to name a few. What did having some of those guys ahead of you kind of show you in the route to becoming a state champ, a two-time state champ by the time you finish high school? Uh, well, I think they just kind of really set the example when I came in. You know, like in middle school, I had some, you know, we had some kids on our team that were decent, but, you know, you have those guys that I was there with, you know, you mentioned Michael John, like Jared Buxton, uh, uh, Coleman Reeves, you know, all those guys really helped, like, set the example in the room that, you know, like, we're a winning program and this is how things are going to be done here. And, you know, it just kind of helped exemplify the hard work in the room and uh, kind of just raise the standard for everyone in there. So. So obviously, you know, if anybody can statistically look back at you, you've made leaps and bounds. You went from being a state qualifier your freshman year to placing second your junior year or your sophomore year to winning two titles. What kind of big jump did you make between freshman year and your junior year? Um, you know, my freshman year, I went, I went two and out. I lost, I lost to a kid I beat twice earlier in the year, and then I lost to another kid. And, uh, you know, I just told myself, like, that, that was never going to happen again. That I was never going to go there and go two and out or not win. And, uh, you know, that was about the time I really started getting committed was – after that first tournament my freshman year. And um, I think it just kind of made me realize, you know, like I need to get better. And the only way to do that is to work harder. So, you know, I had to sacrifice a lot 
you know, to, to reach those goals. You know, I gave up football for it. Cause I knew I was going to be better at wrestling than I was football. You mentioned your, you played football. And I know that many of our viewers can see that Barrett's quite an athlete. So he's, he knows what he's doing. But I, I remember you telling me the story about how you had to tell your coach, hey, I'm going to fully commit to wrestling. How did having to leave football kind of literally skyrocket your wrestling? It was really tough to do that. You know, I, I loved football. I grew up playing it pretty much my whole life. But uh, I knew I wanted to wrestle in college. Having my brother there, you know, uh, mentor me. So, obviously, you, you wrestled at Appalachian State University. You were given that opportunity to wrestle there. What does it take to wrestle Division I? Uh, well, it, there's so many things it takes. You know, I could go all day. But I think the biggest thing that it requires is, di is discipline. You know, discipline and how committed are you really? You know, here in, co you know, in college, you've got distractions everywhere, you know, like outside things, you know. And, you know, so, I mean, really the main thing is, is being disciplined. You know, you can choose two or three things to be good at, and that's school, partying, and, and wrestling. You can only choose two of them. So I just think being disciplined and committed is the most important thing for being a Division One athlete. So, how do you keep steady on that pace to only focus on those two things all the time? Uh, you know, I I, set, I keep my goals in mind. You know, I just if there's ever something I don't want to do, you know, I just remind myself what it, what it is I'm working for. Um, you know, just. You know, I got it written on my mirror that I want to be a conference champion next year. You know, I look I look at it every day. Maybe I don't want to go wrestle that day, or maybe I don't want to go get an extra lift in or something. And then I just see that written on my mirror, and I say, hey, that's what I'm working for. So, so you wrestled at Appalachian State University, and uh, John Mark Bentley, who coached your brother and has coached many other studs, what are some of his major keys to success in having a successful program? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that – we do a really good job here is we have a great culture. You know, we have guys on our team who live the right lifestyle and are committed. Um, and it kind of just all brings us together, really. You know, our culture is something that we really take pride in is, you know, how close knit we are together. And um, it's just, he, he finds the right people and uh, he's a great coach. You know, I love his philosophy of wrestling. You know, it, it was kind of just like the perfect fit when I came here, you know, I just knew, exactly what I was getting into so so you mentioned distractions that happen and I know that App State lost its assistant coach to go uh, Ryan LeBlanc to go coach over at the, the Citadel did that really affect your team at all this year I think we have a great staff here you know coach LeBlanc was a great coach he was a really big mentor for me he and I wrestled all the time uh, he really you know took me under his wings so I was I was pretty hurt when he when I heard he was leaving but, you know, we got a great staff here with uh, Ian Miller and, uh, you know, Randall Diabe. He was the senior when I was a freshman coming in. But, uh, you know, we made great, great jumps this year as far as, you know, as a program. And uh, I would say him, him leaving had a little bit of impact. But, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're going to continue to keep doing what we're doing. So, so obviously this year the Division One program – the Division One was moved to January. How did that kind of affect your team this year? Yeah, so we, uh, you know, we had really strict COVID protocols when we, when we came back from quarantine. You know, the national tournament was canceled, and we didn't have an official team workout until August, probably. And, uh, you know, we pretty much trained from August. We, we wrestled freestyle from August all the way into November preparing for the U23 national tournament. And then we switched to folk style and it was moved to January. So we, we had a really long, much longer preseason than we normally would uh, getting ready for, for the official season. But uh, I, you know, I think we were, we were pretty well prepared. You know, we had a lot of guys stay up here, I, including me. I stayed up here. My roommate, Will from auto stayed up here. You know, we trained here all the summer, wrestled in, in uh, Coach Bentley's basement. Uh, we rolled out just two sections of mat and just wrestled in there, you know. And um, it, it definitely had – it was kind of weird having it start in January. But, you know, once it came around, we were ready. We were prepared. Well, that's awesome. So my next question is – I know it's I know it's a little far away, but do you know what you want to do after college? 
Uh, not exactly yet. You know, I'm, I'm uh, still deciding that, um, you know, I obviously want to get my degree and maybe uh, do grad school, hopefully here or, yeah. So. That's pretty cool. Would you, would you want to go coach anywhere? Yeah, you know, I, I would think about it if if uh, if someone offered me an assistant position or something like that, I definitely would do it. That's awesome. Yeah, I've I've got a segment on my show called the Wands where I get people to weigh in on the hot button topics of what's going on in Alabama wrestling, and obviously I'm not going to expect you to know just about everything that's going on. You've been removed for a little bit, but the first question I'm going to ask is, do you think people should be able to go to club during the season? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that raises the standard for everyone to get better. Uh, you know, kids, kids who want to get better will find a way, you know, you know, just it's the extra work that, that counts. So what would you say to someone who says, Oh, I'm from, and I always feel bad because I use Beauregard. I have no idea if Beauregard has a club. If you guys have a club, please email me because I keep using guys as an example. But <laughs> what if someone from Beauregard says, well, I don't have a club nearby, so no one else should be able to wrestle in season. What would you respond to that? Um, you know, like, like I said, you just you got to find a way. You know, the great ones, you know, my, one of my coaches, Coach Stork, he always says the great ones adjust, you know. So they find you got to find a way, you know. Like me, I'm, you know, I wrestled Oak Mountain. We didn't have a club there. You know, I had to drive almost an hour just to um, go to Warrior Wrestling Club and train. And, uh, you know, I think I think it's just a matter of finding a way. You know, I don't know. And it's hard because everyone's got a different situation, you know. But I think, I think clubs should be allowed year-round. I do. Awesome. So my second question is, um, do you think – Alabama wrestling should be one division or multiple divisions and if multiple divisions how do you say we split it up well, that's a tough one um I think well I think right now it probably should say multiple divisions and I think you should have probably 1a through 5a and the 6a and 7a should be combined and then eventually you know like these these smaller schools I think will start to raise their standard as it gets tougher, you know, and as that, you know, I think as the years go by and the strength and numbers and um, goes up, it should be switched to one division. Well, before I let you go, is there anything you want to say to my viewers? Um, no, thank you guys for watching. Um, you know, if you guys are wrestlers, hope, hope you're working hard and uh, uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, Barrett, thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you, all you guys who are watching. I know you guys love all these videos, so I'm going to keep making them. So thank you guys so much.